Hello, it's me. And today I have an urgent request to solve. This is a 4x4x4 axis cube. But uh, this uh, kind of puzzle is similar to another puzzle that is uh, a base puzzle. The base puzzle of this uh, kind of uh, puzzle is this puzzle here. The 4x4x4 super cube. In fact, uh, in this uh, kind of puzzle, every piece needs to go in uh, their place. In fact, uh, we cannot uh, exchange some pieces uh, because uh, will be not solved. So, if you want to solve this uh, kind of puzzle, the 4x4 axis cube, you need to solve before the 4x4x4 super cube. Said that, I want to see before this puzzle here to solve it. You need to see the center. This center has these colors, the orange, uh, green and yellow. The opposite center of this will have the color white, blue and red. So this is really important for me because I need to complete all the, uh, the centers, then the edges and uh, finally I want to complete it uh, like a normal uh, 3x3 axis cube. But uh, I want to solve this uh, puzzle here in uh, two ways. In the first way I'll solve it uh, like, uh, pairing all the centers and the edges and finally solving uh, it like a, a normal 3x3 axis cube. But I can solve it also with my layer by layer strategy because uh, this uh, kind of puzzle can be solved also in, the, in that way. So why not? I can uh, try to solve it in two ways. So the, um, the request that uh, I had, uh, like in this picture, uh, will have only one face completed. So I want to say to you that uh, um, you can continue this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, my second uh, strategy, where I complete it like a, a layer by layer strategy, or you can choose to scramble uh, these parts again, completing and peering all the centers and the edges. So I want to scramble this puzzle and want to see together with you how to solve it. So now we have the puzzle full scrambled as you can see. So the first thing I want to do for the first step is to complete one center. To complete a center I have to see where is the piece that has three colors. So I, yes, uh, I have seen before these three colors here, the yellow, green and the orange. So I want to try to pair some pieces uh, uh, near, to, uh, uh, the, to, near to this piece. I want to recommend you that uh, I need uh, an orange here, but uh, we have two kind of oranges. So I want to try this before and it's okay. But uh, there is another orange here, another orange that can be paired, but uh, as you can see, if I align the pieces in that way, in uh, this way, okay, when I'll go up, this, no, so this is the piece, okay, when I go up, this is correct, while this is not correct. So we know now that uh, we have two uh, kind of the same color but uh, with opposite uh, orientation. So we know that uh, this piece will go only in this position, like in this cube, like so. 
<coughs> now you want to find the um, green and the piece that has a uh, orange and green and I want to solve these parts in the, in the, the other uh, layers placing this center that we need to complete in uh, the left or the right so the first we want to find is this piece here the orange and green then I want to uh, pair a green near to this green I want to see if uh, we'll have some greens I have one here I want to try it if uh, it is correct or the opposite in fact this is the opposite so I want to find the other one that is here in this position now I want to pair this with this green but doing that I'll scramble this so I want to align this uh, piece in this way so when I turn up this uh, line I don't scramble anything here and now when I turn like so the puzzle the face I can align this center so now it's a, a normal 4x4 um, center uh, creation now the next the next center that we want to complete is uh, the uh, orange uh, the um, red blue and white that I want to solve in this face white red and blue is here so I want to put this piece in this piece doing an up movement turn 180 degrees and turn back now I want to find a red that can be uh, joined with this I want to try this if it's possible but it's not correct so going back see around okay we have it this put it down the line and going up now I have scrambled this don't worry save this movement and turn back <coughs> now I wanna uh, wanna complete uh, blue and uh, um, red and blue as you can see this blue is not correct in fact it's opposite so I wanna complete this red and blue with a blue in down position like so so this and this can be joined and now to put this line in this slot I need to go down with this line do a F movement and go up with the line so now I have completed uh, two centers now for the, the other four uh, centers I have to apply the same strategy before I need to find the piece that has three colors this piece here and now I wanna find a, a and yellow as you can see this is not correct but this okay that complete the line then in the other faces I need to complete a, a yellow and blue with a blue piece yellow and blue is here and the blue piece you can find the blue piece here this is really important because uh, in this way you'll never scramble yourself, your mind so now another thing that we want to do is to try where this center needs to go so as you can see if I turn this uh, uh, center in this way I need to pair the oranges as you can see uh, the uh, orange is not uh, correct in this uh, orientation so this center um, don't need to go here then I wanna rotate this center in another way and now I wanna pair this uh, yellow with this I wanna try it mm, no it's not correct I wanna pair this with this blue yes with this blue yes so now the next part will be the the other yellow so where is a free piece of uh, a piece that has three colors with the yellow is here 
So I wanna put this yellow in this center. So place the center, turn, and go down. So now I have the piece, uh, the correct piece, with this uh, uh, yellow center. As you can see, if I turn this part, it will be correct in this way. Now. I wanna, uh, I wanna put this yellow in this position, like so. I have complete these two pieces, not this, don't see this. Turn, save these two pieces and turn back to, um, to compose again the centers. Now, <coughs> I wanna complete the uh, red and yellow and the red piece. We have them in the same phase. So what do I have to do? it's only to turn up this piece in fact here not, I don't have anything to scramble turn and turn down so now these two pieces will be joined now to place this piece in this position I have to go down with this line make a two turn of the F and turn up so now, if I line all the centers, as you can see, in this way, uh, I will have all this yellow center completed. Now remains the only two, the last two centers. Now, what I have to do, I have to see which color will have the pieces. And as you can see, this this uh, piece here will be will have a green piece. So, where is the three color piece that has a green? Is here. So I need to put this in uh, this slot. So going up with uh, this line, make a two turns and turn back. Now I need to find the as you can see now will remain only these uh, two pieces this is still correct but uh, uh, I wanna find the piece that needs to go here so now I can I have to see before which of these two whites it's uh, the correct white it's this white so what do I have to do <coughs> is to uh, I have to apply an algorithm that will exchange so look at me so which is is this one I have to exchange this piece with this piece so this white will go in a correct white position so this piece will go here this piece will go here and this piece will go here so the algorithm is this this is a the slide view technique that I uh, I'll use also this uh, algorithm in uh, other solution so for this uh, kind of puzzle I have to do R with the, the, the middle so up in the right turn in the right up in the left turn in the left down in the right turn in the right down in the left turn in the left and as you can see now this center will be completed but what happens here here this cube here is a uh, super cube and as you know this kind of puzzle will have uh, a parity in the center and uh, for a 4x4 four four, um, this is the real parity where two pieces uh, needs to be flipped to solve this kind of parity 
you have to place this line with the, these two pieces in this way. So I want to see this kind of parity with this puzzle. So look at me. So as you can see in this puzzle <coughs> I have uh, these two pieces uh, that need to be flipped. How to solve uh, this uh, situation? I have to do the <coughs> slide you technique <coughs> placing uh, these uh, two uh, scrambled pieces in the right so I have to do up in the left, up uh, in the right turn in the right up in the left, turn in the left down in the right go up in the right turn in the left and turn in the left now I have to do an F movement like so and I have to exchange uh, again with the R movement with the R U technique uh, slide U technique these <coughs> three pieces so up in the right slide in the right up in the left slide in the left down in the right slide in the right and again so now as you can see <coughs> this center of a 4x4 super cube has been completed it's uh, only to be rotated with uh, another kind of uh, movement but uh, what do I need to solve um, will be only these two pieces so I have to apply the same algorithm because uh, this is uh, this uh, two puzzle are the same so I want to exchange these three before then I want to uh, make a uh, F movement and uh, re redo the same uh, algorithm so the so for this puzzle we need to flip these two pieces uh, in the same way that we saw this uh, puzzle here so putting these uh, two pieces in the right I have to do the slide you technique so this shoe will be in the right and I have to do up in the right slide in the left up in the left slide in the right and down in the right slide in the left down in the left and slide in the right so now I have to do an F movement and I have to repeat the algorithm exchanging these three pieces so up in the right sliding left up in the left sliding the right down in the right sliding the left down in the left and slide in the right and as you can see these pieces uh, will be exchanged um, correctly now completing the centers I have to pair, pairing all, all the centers, now I have to pair all the edges. So to pair um, an edge we need to have this situation like so, with two pieces joined together. These two are not uh, in the same direction. So what I have to find, the um, this uh, piece but red. Where is it is here so now don't think uh, of the orientation of the center we need only to uh, solve all the edges so this will go here and doing that I have to exchange this piece with another piece that is not correct like this like this so I do up turn and go down and in that way I can turn back the center so now when uh, we have the, the pieces in this um, in this uh, in this way we need only to see the two colors so in this way i need to put a red and green that has a red in this uh, or in this uh, kind of shape and a green in this other kind of shape 
of shape. So red and green, red and green, where is red and green? Is here in the top layer. So what I have, do I have to do is to place this red and green in down position like so. So now I can exchange this, I can pair this and this together in this way. And now what I have to do is to exchange this with this. It's like a down, down, up and up. So now we have four uh, edges uh, complete, completed in the top layer. Now I want to recompose the centers. Now we need to uh, solve other four uh, layers, other four uh, uh, edges. So I want to find something. In fact, we have these two yellows that can be paired. And now we can exchange with the, another edge in the bottom layer, like so. Then we turn back. The strategy is always the same. This white can be paired with this. So exchanging with this, with the down, down, up, up. Now I can turn back the center. I have this uh, white and blue that can be paired with this. Okay. And now with this uh, doing a down, down, up, up. And turn back the center. We remain only one edge to complete. These two can be paired together, like so. And then we can exchange with that this uh, edge that is not correct. With that down, down, up and up. And down, turn back with the, the centers. So we have four and four edges completed. We need to solve the last, uh, we have also this correct. The last, so one, two, and three edges that are not correct. To solve the last three centers, as in a normal 4x4, you need to put the opposite piece. So well, this is the piece that needs to go here. This piece I want to put in this position. This uh, edge needs to be flipped with uh, 180 degrees. And then when I turn back, this piece that we will go in this position will be paired with this piece. So this piece now needs to go here. I want to flip this uh, uh, edge. How to flip an edge? It's easy. I have to do a simple algorithm that is R F I U R I and F. And then, as you can see, this uh, edge is, has been flipped upside down. And now when I turn back with the center, this uh, little piece will go in uh, the same orientation of the, the, of the correct uh, edge. So now for this one, I need to place this in this position, flip it upside down and the green will go here and this will go also in the correct position. So the same thing, placing this piece here, flip this edge upside down with the R, oh, R, F I U R I F and when we turn it back as you can see both these two uh, edges will be completed now it's time to solve we have now a normal 3 by 3 by 3 axis uh, cube if you know how to solve an axis cube it's uh, easy but uh, in this kind of uh, puzzle, we can have some parities that uh, will, sc uh, will uh, scare you. So now, for the first uh, thing you want to do is to choose a center. I uh, have started with this uh, center. So now I want to complete the edges of this center. The first one needs to go, uh, this uh, to be a uh, uh, yellow and uh, uh, orange center. That is uh, here. I want to see if uh, it's correct. Yes, it's correct. The, the other one <coughs> will be the green and yellow. Find the green and yellow. We don't have it in the down face. But I have it in this position. So 
the next is here the only red the only green and now we need to find the only uh, oranges it is here is in the opposite orientation so what we have to do is to turn the face and place <coughs> now it's time to solve the the corners we have four corners in the bottom layer and four in the top layer so see the colors I have a yellow here that can go in this position it's not correct in a orientation you can turn it again 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 up to when the piece will go in the same in, a, the, in the right orientation <coughs> We'll have an orange. Yes, I, we have an orange uh, corner in the bottom layer. So I can turn, turn. Okay, it's just the correct. And now we have this shoe to exchange. To exchange this shoe, it needs only to go down with a, a corner, exchanging with another piece, and then placing this piece in this slot this is incorrect turn turn not correct and now we will be, we'll be correct now i have the green in this position okay it's still correct so this is uh, the first layer of a 3 by 3 by 3 axis cube now what we uh, need to do is to align the centers in fact all the centers as you can see are flipped so to rotate a center I need to place this uh, edge and two corner in the top layer this is now the top layer this is the bottom and this will be the top layer now I have to turn this, uh, 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 these uh, parts of uh, pieces with one and two movement in the opposite way and now I'm free to turn this uh, center to orient this center I need before to align these two centers so the green is in the correct position then I have to turn it twice so one and two and then when I turn back with uh, these pieces as you can see will go in the same orientation same thing here I need to place these two pieces in the opposite face turn again in the opposite face and now I'm free to turn this at uh, this uh, center I need to pair these two and then I have to do one and two now bring back with the pieces and bring back with the pieces so these two centers are correct now it's time to solve this, placing these two in the top layer, turn again in the back, now I'm free to turn, this needs to be paired with this, and now with one and two, and turn back with the pieces, the pieces will go in the correct position. And now the last one, same thing, placing up, turning back, now I need to, before to align these uh, uh, centers, to pair this center. And then I have to do one and two. And then turn back with the pieces. And turn back with the pieces. So, now we have all the, the uh, centers oriented. Don't see the top layer, this is uh, not important for now. Now it's time to solve the uh, second layer. As a normal 3x3, three three, I want to see where this piece needs to go. So this needs to go here with an F movement. So I have to put it in the in the left and do it the same algorithm of a 3x3. Three three. That is R, UI, RI, UI, FI, U and F. The piece will go in the correct position. Now I have this one. This one is with a array movement that will go here. 
so I have to put it back like so and I have to do half u u f i u r u i r i so these two are correct we don't have this in fact it's here so I'm gonna solve this that it's here so in this case I have these two to flip I can uh, uh, I can uh, uh, exchange this with another piece so I'm gonna do R UI RI UI FI U and F so now I have the yellow here where needs to go the yellow here in this way no but in this way with an F movement okay so when it's an F movement I have to put in the left and then I have to do R U I R I U I F I U and F and now the, the last one middle pieces them with the an F movement I have to put it in the left and I have to do the same algorithm R U I R I U I F I U and F so now what we need to do we want to see all the edges uh, not the center but the edges this edge is flipped upside down as you can see this one is correct so this is upside down this is, is correct this is, is cor this is correct and this is also upside down so I want to flip these two pieces to flip two edges I need to do the algorithm F R U R I U I and F I so now all the edges as you can see will have the purple place but uh, I'm now lucky because uh, I can have another kind of situation so you can have this situation here where three edges will be correct and one needs to be flipped upside down so what do I have to do in this case in this case I have to apply the Red Bull algorithm that is a, a normal algorithm that uh, will flip one uh, edge so I wanna apply this algorithm that is this is a R movement so to R to B to U hell to you all right to you are to you then I have to do to F then R to F L I to B and to R and as you can see this has been flipped upside down and also the center has been rotated uh, 180 degrees so now to solve uh, the puzzle I need to complete the, the, the corners I have one corner, corner correct and the other three to exchange to exchange three corners I have to put this uh, correct uh, uh, corner in the, the left and I have to do R UI 
Eli. You. Harai. You I. Hell. And you. I'm lucky because uh, the puzzle is solved, but I can have uh, the situation where uh, the pieces, uh, this corner, needs to be rotated. But uh, before that, in this puzzle can happen another strange parity. The parity that uh, is uh, really an urgent request for me. And this, this one. You can have this situation where a center needs to be rotated uh, 90 degrees and two corners needs to be swapped. Before to see this puzzle, you have to see this puzzle here. We have the same configuration where two corners needs to be swapped and the center needs to be rotated uh, 180 degrees. How to solve this kind of parity? For true, this uh, uh, parity is not for the corners because uh, we cannot exchange any corner um, with uh, the, the cube. We cannot uh, exchange them. But uh, the real pieces uh, that uh, will create a parity will be the edges. So look at me. I have to swap these two. Uh, corners. How to do that? I can use uh, the algorithm of the cuboids to swap two uh, uh, corners. So I have to do shuar u, shuar ui, shuar ui d, and then shuar ui, shuar u, and finally shuar and di. As you can see now, the corners are in, but uh, as you can see, this is uh, the real parity of the cube. And you can't uh, solve this parity using the normal uh, uh, algorithm that you use uh, with uh, a normal 4x4. Look at me. If I use uh, that algorithm, what do I cause? I, I can use the algorithm turning to middle R to R to you, to R, to you, and finally to R, and only this layer to you. You have uh, solved this uh, layer, yes, but look these pieces. All these uh, middle pieces of the center will be exchanged in uh, this and this layer. So think to apply this uh, algorithm with this uh, cube. With this cube, all these pieces will be scrambled and with, uh, at, at your eyes, you will be uh, scared of this. So I don't wanna do that. I wanna redo the algorithm. So to R, to U, to R, to U, to R, to U. So what do I have to do to swap this uh, two algorithm without uh, destroy the cube? I have to do the algorithm that I use in uh, my layer by layer strategy, where these uh, two parts of the edges will be swapped. And this swapping will cause uh, the changing of the center. But uh, for now, the center is not the problem because we need to complete only the edges. So. I want to swap these two, uh, these two pieces of the edges. The algorithm is this. You have to do li u2 li u2 f2 li and f2 and finally r u2 ri u2 and l2. As you can see, the piece that was here is now here, and the piece that was here now is here. So now, from this configuration, I need to turn the puzzle with one and two, and I have to repeat again the algorithm. So this piece will go here, and will be paired with this uh, yellow and blue, in fact, it will be in the correct position, and this will go here. 
So again, Eli, you too. Eli, you too. Have to. Eli, have to. And finally, her, you too. Arai, you too. And L too. As you can see now, these two are in the proper place, but needs only to be uh, flipped upside down. So to swap these two um, these two pieces in orientation, I need to do a F R U R I U I and F I. Now I want to solve the uh, the edges. Uh, look in the center. So this is uh, the uh, center. This is uh, the the edge that we can pair with the center. And then uh, to uh, rotate this, uh, I need to apply the sune. That is R U R I U R to U and R I. And repeat it again. Will uh, be this uh, red will go here, this yellow here, and this white here, and will go in the same in the proper place. So R U R I U R to you and the right. Now I have all the edges paired with the center and I need to solve all only the uh, the corners. So I want to swap three corners. I don't have any corner correct yet. So swapping these three corners. This will go in the proper place. So R U I L I U R I U I L U so this is now correct and now the other three as you can see I don't have the parity of the corners because all the, the pieces uh, needs to be swapped and do the same algorithm twice this piece will go here and then here so R U I L I U R I U I L U and again R U I L I U R I U I L U now all the uh, the corners are in proper place. It's only to be rotated. How to rotate a corner? It's easy. I have to do R D I R D R I D I R D. Turn again with uh, exchange this with another corner and do again R I D I R D R I D I D R I D I R D R I D I R D. Now. For these two, the same thing. Right, the I, R, D. Right, the I, R, D. Turn and swap this. Right, the I, R, D. Right, the I, D. It's the same algorithm. And as you can see, the super, the four by four super cube is solved. Now the same thing here. To swap these two, I have to apply the cuboid strategy. So, you are you. Shuar UI Shuar UI D Shuar UI Shuar U and finally Shuar and the I. So now I have all this uh, corner in the proper place, but the parity will be only with the edges. But uh, now I want to turn this corner before. So this uh, needs to be turned with the R I D I R D R I D I R D is not correct. So again R I D I R D R I D I R D is correct. Now when exchange with this, it needs to be rotated. With RI, the I, R, D, R, I, D, I, R, and D. So, as you can see now, the parity will be only with the edges, like in that cube. So, I want to apply the algorithm that will exchange this and this piece, that is Li. U2 Li U2 then F2 Li and 
F2 Then R U2 R I U2 And finally L2 As you can see the piece that was here is here And this one is here Now I want to turn the puzzle from this position on 1 and 2 movement And I have to repeat the algorithm that is Li U2 Li U2 F2 Li F2 And finally R U2 Ri U2 And L2 and now, as you can see, I have all the edges in the purple place. It needs only to be rotated with F, R, U, R, I, U, I, and F, I. Now the Sune, with these three pieces. R, U, R, I, U, R, to U, and R, I. And now... We have four corners that are not in. I want to put this one in with R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L, and U. So this is in. And now this free with the twice movement will go up. R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L, and U. And again, R, U, I, L, I, U, R, U, I, L, and U. So this is uh, flat and the other three needs to be only rotated using the same algorithm Ri D I R D Ri D I R D this is correct exchanging this and do it again Ri D I R D and complete again the algorithm the puzzle is done you can have another situation like this. This is uh, the last one situation where a center needs to be flipped with 180 degree. How to turn only one center 180 degree is very really easy. You have to do the uh, RU, RIU for five times and the puzzle will be solved. So, R U, R I U, one, again, R U, R I U, two, R U, R I U, three, R U, R I U, four, and finally R U, R I U, and the puzzle is done. Okay, so now you have learned how to solve the puzzle with a normal strategy. You can also apply another kind of strategy that we want to see together. So now this is the second case. You need to solve the puzzle with a layer by layer strategy. So you need to compose the first uh, phase like a normal 3x3 three three or uh, something else so I need to uh, align all the centers in that way this is correct now I need to find the green and uh, uh, orange and green in the other side orange and green is here that needs the green So this can be joined with this 
and now I can put it in the top layer like so. Now I have, I have to pair two edges, two uh, oranges. So this is one. Need to find the other orange that is here. Like so, this with this. This is a really easy uh, case. Now two uh, greens. This in this can be joined together. And now in this way, but in this way. So these two are correct. Now the green and the yellow. Green and yellow, green and yellow. <coughs> so I can align these two in this way. Turn and uh, they are in line. Now this and this can go up. So now the orange and yellow, I have one here. And the other one is here. And this way can be joined together. And this will go not in this way, but in this way. Okay. Now it's time to solve the, the, the corners. So this one needs to go here. All right, the IRD. Okay, now the, the, uh, the green, and this is correct, the yellow, we have it here, alright, the eye, uh, alright, the eye, okay, and this is correct, and now finally the orange, alright. Already IRD. Okay, so this is uh, the situation in that picture. So now you can also solve this puzzle using my layer by layer strategy. The first thing we want to do solve my layer by layer strategy is to find uh, the uh, edges. So this one is correct. This is also correct. So one and two are correct. I need to find this piece that has a little uh, yellow. The little yellow, yellow is here. So this needs to go down in this way. How to put this yellow here? You can use the uh, algorithm of a 3x3 to put this uh, edge in this position. So placing it in the left, I have to do R, UI, RI, UI, FI, U and F. So now I have one, two and three edges uh, completed. Now I need to put another piece here that is uh, the orange the little orange baby maybe 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 I wanna see some oranges no this So it's a, a orange that has this uh, configuration and the orange with that configuration maybe this yes in fact this one needs to go here so what do I have to do I need uh, I need to uh, exchange this uh, edge that has the, this uh, uh, orange here in the top layer doing uh, the same algorithm R UI Ri, Ui, Fi, U and F. Now I have the orange in the top layer. This is how it needs to go. 
with F movement. So again, in the left and again, R U I, R I, U I, F I, U and F. So now I have all of these four edges in the bottom layer. Now it's time to complete these uh, pieces of the uh, uh, of the centers. The first may be a uh, uh, white and uh, orange. White and orange that is here, so this is not uh, useful. The this one is not useful. I have some green in the top layer, and this greens needs to go here. <coughs> so this one. Yes, so this uh, green needs to go down here, as you can see. So how to insert uh, this piece down here? I can exchange this with this, this with this, and this with this, doing uh, the slide you technique with uh, another kind of uh, visualization. So I can go down with the right. Slide in the left, down in the left, slide in the right, up in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, and slide in the right. Okay, so now I have the piece down here. Now we need another piece that is uh, here, so it's not useful. I want to see which piece we have in the top layer. I have a white. I cannot use a white. I have uh, uh, orange and orange and white. Yes, this one is the piece that needs to go here, down here. So I can go down with this. This go here. This here. So again, down in the right. Slide in the left. Down in the left, slide in the right, up in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, and slide in the right. And as you can see, this other piece would be correct. <coughs> and now I have nothing. When I don't have anything in the, the top layer, I need to find some pieces. So I want to find the orange piece. The orange piece is here. So I can exchange this with this, this with this, and this with this. The same algorithm, but in the up position. So up in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right, down in the right. Slide in the left, in the left, and down in the left. Slide in the right. So now I have the orange in the top layer that can be can go down <coughs> in this way. So I can do down in the left, slide in the right, down in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right, down up in the in the, in the right, and slide in the left. So now I have these two pieces joined together. Now I want to solve this. I have the piece here. So I want to before exchange it with another piece. So this will go here, this here, and this here. So I want to put this one in the top layer. So again, up in the left, slide in the right, up in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, slide in the right, down in the right and slide in the left. So now I have the piece here that needs to go here. <coughs> so down in the right, slide in the, in the in the right, down in the right, up the third and third. With the same strategy we have complete this one. Now it's time to solve this two. Mm -hmm. 
I need the yellow. This yellow can go here or here, but I need to put it in the top layer. So I will exchange this with this, this with this, and this with this. So up in the, in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right, down in the right, slide in the left, and down in the left, and slide in the right. Now I have this yellow here that I want to see if here that okay. So this yellow goes here. So I'm gonna go down with this, this with this, and this with this. So down in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, <coughs> slide in the left, in the right, up in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right. Now we need to find a corner that is uh, here. So I want to exchange this with another casual piece in top layer. So this will go here, this here, and this here. So up in the left, slide in the right, up in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, slide in the right, in the right, and down in the right. So now I have the piece that needs to go here, here. So down in the left, slide in the right, down in the left, in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, in the right, up in the right, and slide in the left. And this one is also completed. Now these two. I need to find another white that is here. So this will go here, this here, and this here. So up in the left. Turn in the right, up in the right, turn in the left, down in the, in the left, turn in the right, down in the right. And now I have to put it down to here. So down in the left, slide in the right, down in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right up in the right and slide in the left. Now the last one that has a free a free colors with the blue, yellow and orange that is here. So this needs to go uh, up. So up in the right, in uh, the left, slide in the right, up in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, and slide in the right and down in the right and slide in the left. Now we have the piece here that needs to go here, so this here and this here. Again, down in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, slide in the right, up in the right, slide in the left, up in the, the left, and slide in the right. So now we have the second layer Full completed. Now it's time to see if we have some edge still completed. This one is completed, this center is completed, so <coughs> I want to find the little white that is here. So now, what do I have to do is to have this white in this position. So I want to flip this one uh, upside down. How to, uh, to flip an edge upside down with this? I can use uh, the FRU. So FRU, RI, UI, and FI. So now it's uh, a correct uh, orientation to apply the algorithm. What do I have to do is to repeat the algorithm of the second layer, but uh, when I do an uh, R or RI movement, I have to do with uh, both these two layers. So look at me. I have to, to put this one in the left, as uh, usually. So my first will be an, a little R with this. So R, UI, 
Now, array, I want to do array with the, both these two layers. So array, then UI, FI, U, and F. Okay. And now, when I turn up with this layer, as you can see, nothing will cause anything. And I have the, the, this piece in the correct position. So this is correct. This is correct. Now it's time to find the other one that has the same color so, or uh, that are green and red. It's uh, in a good uh, position. So I have to put it in the left. And again, R, UI, RI with both pieces, UI, FI, UF. And then I have to put up this little line. So this one is correct. This is correct. This one, where is? Is here, but needs to go in the opposite orientation. So F, R, U, R, I, oh. R, I, U, I, and F, I. So now it is here. And now putting it in the left, I can do the same algorithm. So R, UI, RI with both layer, UI, FI, U, and F. And then I have to put up this line. So now it's time to solve these other centers. This one, I want to try it. Yes. So this uh, red needs to go here. This will go here. And this will go here. So down in the left, the same strategy. Turn it in uh, the right, down in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right, up in the right, and slide in the left. This one, yes, I have it. It is here. So this go here, this here, and this here. So down in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, slide in the right, up in the right, slide, slide in the left, in the left, up in the left, and slide in the right. So this is correct. This is correct. I need to find the blue that is that. So this will go here, this here, and this here. So down in the left, in uh, the right, slide in the left. Down in the left, slide in the right, up in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right. <coughs> and these two centers are in. Now these other two edges, two centers. <coughs> I want to see, no, I don't have anything here. Yes. I want to see this one. Okay. So this is the correct white that needs to go here. I can exchange this with this and this will be in the correct position. This will go here and this uh, uh, white will go also in the correct position. So I'm lucky with this case. So up in the right, slide in the, the uh, left, up in the left, slide in the right, down in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, slide in the right. As you can see now, these two pieces are both together joined very well. Now the last one, I can apply again the same strategy. This will go here, this will go here and will be in, in the correct position, and this will go here and will be in the, in the, the correct position. So slide in the, in the right, uh, up in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right, down in the left, in the right, uh, slide in the left, down in the left, slide in the right. And as you can see now, <coughs> all these uh, 
third layer has been completed. Now it's time to solve all the edges. To solve all the edges, I have to apply the algorithm of before where I swap these two uh, uh, edges, these two pieces of the edges. The algorithm is always the same. I have to do li u2 li u2 f2 li f2 and then r u2 ri u2 and l2 as you can see this is now correct this is still correct and now this one i need to flip this with this and this with this and again so the same algorithm li u2 again li u2 f2 li and f2 then r u2 r i u2 and l2 as you can see now all these uh, uh, edges will be correct now i want to see the position of them these two are correct this is correct and this is correct okay and uh, what i have to do is uh, to uh, rotate these uh, centers these uh, uh, edges with r u r i u r to u and r i i want to see as a, uh, a case where one piece is correct and three not okay this one and again r u r i u r to u and r i and repeat it again r u r i u r to u and r i i have all the edges in the correct position now it's time to solve the um, the corners with r u i l i u r i u i l u <coughs> again r u i l i u r i u i l u so this is correct this is correct and i have the situation of before where these two corners need to be swapped I want to swap them with 2R, U 2R, UI 2R, UI, D 2R, UI 2R, U and 2R and D I so now I have all these uh, uh, corners in the correct way but I need to uh, swap these two uh, edges that are the parity to swap the edges I have to do the same algorithm that swap these two pieces and then two pieces so li u2 li u2 f2 li f2 r u2 all right u2 and finally f l2 from this position i have to do one and two turns and again i have to turn this two so li u2 li u2 then f2 li f2 R U2 R I U2 and L2 
Now I have this shoe flipped upside down, so I have to flip them with uh, F R U R I U I and F I. Now I want to rotate them with R U R I U R Q U and R I. And repeat it again. Let's see. Yes. R U R I U R Q U and R I. As you can see. Uh, now uh, we have all the edges in. I wanna uh, flip the the corners with. R U I L I U R I U I L U This is correct now and this free that needs to go in the correct position with R U I L I U R I U I L U and again R U I the same out Okay this needs to be rotated with R I D I R D R I D I R D and now this one R I D I R D R I D I R D R I D I R D R I D I R and D but what happens here we have to rotate these to flip these two uh, centers. This is a normal case with a super cube that we know how to solve it. I have to put these two pieces uh, in uh, the uh, right and I want to exchange with another keyhole center. So I have to do up in the right slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right, down in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, slide in the right. Then I have to do an F movement and again up in the right, slide in the left, up in the left, slide in the right, down in the right, slide in the left, down in the left, and turn with the puzzle that has been completed. Thank you very much guys for watching. You have learned how to solve this puzzle with two strategy. strategies and now nothing. Thanks for watching.